Spring instruments extended. As you have seen, these are the mustard retractors. These are suctions, the small suctions, and the large suctions. These are the needle holders, different types, and the artery force. Leggin bit retractor, LB or right angle retractor. These are the carrier, these are the nibblers, curved nibbler, straight nibbler, nibbler, large, small. This is called pop retractors. These are called the cog retractors, also the periosteal retractors, periosteal separator or cog retractor. These are used to retract in the, uh, uh, the muscles in this uh, in this spine while dissection. Here are the disc forceps which are used later after dissecting after laminectomy or partial laminectomy. These are calcium oranges. These have the numbers from 1 to 5. The numbers are written on the shaft. The one is the 1 mm uh, byte. We take the 1 mm byte, which is which is the smallest one, and the largest one is the 5 mm or 6 mm. Most probably, most of the sets have the 5 mm calcium oranges, which have the thick, uh, would take the byte of the 5 mm. It is the 5 mm calcium oranges. These are bipolar and bipolar <coughs> forceps. These are the non-sticking one. <coughs> this is called the bayonet forcep. For better visualization, the hand doesn't come uh, in the visualization area. <coughs> and these are called the penfield retractors. Different modifications of the penfield retractors. Generally, the slight curve is this two number. The monohistory plate uh, generally on the convex side <coughs> and to be on the just behind the tip, the monohistory should be placed. If surgeon asks, specifically towards the con concave, concave side then it is to be on the concave side there are the two, num uh, two number penfield retractors the more curved ones are called the three number penfield retractors these are, these are not the exact one it is, it is the modification the spawn holder mosquitoes mosquito forceps artery forceps these are the penfield retractors with the curate suture cutting in in uh, specific spine instruments, the open surgery, from the start, we see, we will see one by one instruments. Come here. It's called the starter to start uh, the insertion of the screw. Uh, First, first it should be given the starter. Later, the owl is given. Owl is of two types: the straight owl and the curved owl. The owl has the marking of the of M with the, for the measurement in the millimeter, which is to be seen by inserting it in the pedicle. The other, in other instruments, we see the uh, screws. After that, we have to see the screws first. Different types of this. Uh, uh, how we have seen, and where is the? Huh? This are all the left. Yes. It is the straight side. It, it is the curved side. Yeah. After the bone scissor, surgeon asks for uh, surgeon asks for the screw. These are the, the these uh, can be given before the screw insertion. For but the screws are here. These are the polyaxial screws, as we have seen. These have that length and the diameter. These have the length and the diameter. These are the polyaxial like screws. And these are the rods of different length. These are the rods of different length and diameter. Okay. For the exact measurement of the rod length in situ during operation, this measurement scale 
is very much helpful for exact measurement of the rod length and for the rod the rod insert it is called rod holder or rod holder and where is the rod pusher now it is called rod pusher it is called the rod pusher and for bending the rod we use bender this is rod bender it is here by this mechanism the rod is bent pura 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 nikalne ko open hmm. just open it place it okay. as we don't want to uh, bend it now and uh, by one, it. 1% hold it and like this we can bend the rod okay hmm. this is a rod bender and for cutting the rod to the exact length it is the rod cutter it is the rod cutter by placing it here and we have to hold it like this by the second person it should be hold the both ends should be hold together so that it should not fall these are the sewing instruments where is the inning the screws have the innies it should be removed first with the help of the screw driver screw driver it is like this it is fitted and the innies are removed hmm while giving the innies innies should be fitted evenly not unevenly it is uneven fitting of the innies it is the means it should should be perfectly fitted and should what be easily going way? inside the screws after putting the rod while bending the rod one thing should be clear that this marking should be kept up while bending the rod this marking should be kept up so that the concavity or convexity we can see we can <coughs> uh easily assess where it is okay and where is the distractor where is the distractor it is a distractor after inserting the screw and fixing the rod it is called the distractor it pushes the screw apart in situ it is called distractor in listesis is very important for the final tightening of the screw this should be given to the surgeon first this called i don't know its name now and like this uh, it goes in there is any put the knees inside like this for the final tightening final tightening generally we use the pitka company here these are the may most important instruments which are used in the open spinal surgery spinal fusion surgery okay it is little bit in hurry i have demonstrated okay thank you